It's the Murphy's Law Podcast. Hey, 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 it is Wednesday, and what a wonderful Wednesday it is as we finish up the last full week of distance learning, and we only have really two uh, tasks that we are finishing up this week as we look at the outsiders and wrap it up with the film. So let's get to what the week looks like. Agenda Review. Yesterday, we looked at the film clip from the Rumble, and boy, what a, what a different type of scene it was from what the text created. And today, then, the critique is going to look at the opening and closing scene, because if you remember the book, the last lines of the book go all the way back to the beginning. So that's kind of what we're going to look at, because the movie tries to incorporate that kind of packaging as well. So we'll take a look at that assignment here in a second. Tomorrow at 10.30 a.m., jump in for our Google Meet if you want to say hello and to say goodbye and all that wonderful stuff. And then Friday, the last podcast of distance learning. Yay! Next week is just wrapping up. If there's an assignment, you're like, Mr. Murphy, I didn't perform as well as I think I can. Let me give me a chance. I would love to give you a chance. So reach out to me and we can uh, have you redo something. Show me what you know. And maybe we can see some scores improve in that final week as we wrap it up. But there will be no podcast next week. Let's take a look at that uh, movie task, then. The last assignment of the year. Assignment Awareness. This is a specific uh, clip here that I edited together. So I took the beginning of the movie and the end of the movie, and I edited them together. So just be aware of that. When you watch the clip, it's the beginning and the end. All right? So how the beginning kind of opens up with him thinking back. He's Remember, he's writing a paper for English because English is the most important subject. And he is uh, reflecting back on when he got jumped by the socias. And then at the end, we have Johnny's letter that kind of falls out of Gone with the Wind. And so, and then he starts writing again. So that's, it kind of wraps it all up. But we had the whole story happen in between. So then the question becomes, like, what do you see similar to the text? How about differences? What decisions does the director make? I mean, Johnny's face appears. So how does that impact the reader and the viewer here? And then, what impact does keeping the entire story in English essay have on the reader and the viewer? So think about how true it was to the book, because some movies that are based on books don't follow it specifically exactly as the author intended. So how does the director's decisions here affect the reader? And you want to be very specific in your details here, all right? Um, and for more information and for an example, look at the tutorial that's attached to the assignment as I go through one of these and I take a look. It's a little longer because, again, I take the both parts and I combine them. So it's a little bit longer clip. So make sure you give yourself time to watch it. And uh, we're going to now go into Melody Monday responses and take a look at what you guys responded. response rama the question was, what song kind of connects you to the end of the school year? And this year's a little bit different. There were a lot of final countdown responses, by the way, which I found kind of odd, you know, that you guys would be connected to Europe, the final countdown. But I guess it's still kind of popular and it still appears in a lot of different places. But uh, we're going to give a shout out to Gabriella, who just said that this song was just stuck in her head because her little sister plays it on repeat all the time. But I think it fits pretty well as we finish up grade seven and we look at beyond and we don't really know what the summer is going to bring. We don't know what eighth grade is going to bring, but we do know that it's going to be okay. So thanks, Gabriella, for bringing this uh, back and putting it in everybody's brains so that they can't get it out of their brains today. All right. So as we go into the unknown, let's take a look. Wait, there's breaking news. Breaking news. The breaking news is actually connected to Word Out Wednesday. So let's do Word Out Wednesday too. Word Out Wednesday. I just wanted to do the Word Out Wednesday drop one more time too. So breaking news, Word Out Wednesday. This is the Word Out Wednesday challenge. You are going to prove it. So using your IXL diagnostic score, now a lot of you have already taken it for math and the English score is connected to the math, so that's totally great. 
Uh, but what I all I want you to do for Word Out Wednesday is to put your score in the form for Word Out Wednesday, your IXL language arts and reading diagnostic score. So you're gonna put your score in the form that's attached to Word Out Wednesday. If you don't do it today, that's okay because this is the last Word Out Wednesday, so the form will stay stay with me all the way through into the weekend. So if you get to it tomorrow, that's great. But the IXL ELA diagnostic, that's what this is your opportunity to prove it. Even though if whether you agree or disagree with the level that I'm evaluating you at, this is your opportunity to prove where you're at. So take advantage of it and then post your score in the form. And that's it for Word Out Wednesday. It's a pretty easy Word Out Wednesday. Show the words you know and jump into our Google Meet tomorrow. If you get a chance, say hi and bye. That's the last Wednesday a podcast for Murphy's Law English 7. Join us tomorrow for Thursday. Catch you on the flippity flip. <laughs>